welcome to Science Rocks. I'm Jennifer Swanson. I'm the author of over 45 books about science for kids just like you. I love science because I'm curious. I like to know how things work, don't you? And today, in this episode of Science Rocks, we're gonna be talking about my book, Save the Crash Test Dummies by Peachtree Publishing. And we're going to learn all about the forces that happen in a car crash and why you have to wear a seatbelt in order to stay safe. Are you ready? Let's go. For this experiment, you're going to need a couple of cars. Now, I have some big cars here, like this, but you could also use little cars, like this. The next thing that's really important is the marshmallow. Now, the marshmallow is you. You are going to be like the crash test dummy in this experiment. Now, we are going to have rubber bands for your seatbelt if you're using the small cars. And if you're using a little bit larger cars, then you're gonna want a couple pieces of string. You can use yarn or you can use string like this. And that will be the seatbelt. Now, one of the first things we need to talk about when we're looking at how cars hit each other and crash and all this kind of stuff is the force. A force is a push or a pull of something on you, usually on the car, all of these different things. Probably the most common force that you're aware of is gravity, right? Gravity is what pull things to the ground. So if I hold up this marshmallow and I let it go, what's it gonna do? Do I hear you predicting like a scientist? Yes, I hope you said it's going to fall. And it does, that's gravity, it's pulling it to the ground. The same thing happens in a car crash. Gravity's all around us, we can't escape it here on the Earth. But there are a couple rules also for forces that are moving or standing still. And those are governed by Newton's laws of motion. So Newton has three laws of motion. The first one is an object at rest will stay at rest, or an object that's moving will stay moving. So in other words, if you have a car that's sitting still, it's going to stay there unless there's a force or something that makes it go, like my finger, right? There you go, that made it go. Now the second one is force equals mass times acceleration, which basically means the faster you're going, the faster, uh, the longer it'll take you to slow down and the faster and harder that the hit will be. So look at this one. Boom, that was a big crash. The third law of motion states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So believe it or not, it's hard to see. This purple car is hitting the pink car, pushing forward. The pink car actually kind of goes back on it, which is why when you have car crashes, you actually have dents in here and dents in this car. So it's like this, boom, okay. So those are the laws of motion that you need to know. Now, let's talk about you. When you're in a car, you are wearing a seatbelt, right? Hopefully, yes. But why do you wear the seatbelt? Well, if you are the marshmallow, okay, and you're sitting in this car, we'll just put one marshmallow in each car. And I know we're putting them on top, and of course we would be safe and inside the car, not on top of the car as we're driving. If you're moving, you're going to go forward or backwards. You're going to keep moving in the same direction that you're going. So let's just give this a shot. Ready? Well, first of all, let's predict. We are scientists. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the marshmallow is gonna go forward? Is it gonna go backwards? Is it gonna stay in the same place? You have your prediction? Let's try it. We are going to experiment. So the pink car is sitting still. The purple car is gonna come in. Let's see what happens to you, the marshmallow. Ready? Oh, ouch. You are outside the car. What happened? You, this marshmallow didn't move forward. It moved backwards. And that is because the force pulled it forward and then backwards. And what happened to this one? Well, this marshmallow also went backwards. So if you had your, you didn't have your seatbelt on, you would most likely go forward and then back. 
That's what people get what's called whiplash. Now, I have this really cool card that shows you what happens. Okay, now I don't expect you to make this, although these, this is pretty cool. Okay, so if you look at this car, it has wheels, it has a body, but if you look very closely, there is a cork right there and it's attached by a string down here and it's floating in oil. So I want you to watch what happens to the cork when I run into the purple car. Now I'm gonna keep the purple, purple car straight. Are you ready? Watch the cork. Did you see that? Let's try it one more time and maybe we can slow it down. Okay, now what if I told you the cork was you? Did you see how the cork went forward with the force and then pulled back like that? That's what's happened in the car crash. And that's why people, again, as I said, get whiplash like this, your neck goes way back. Okay, so now we are going to show you why we wear seat belts. Although maybe you've already figured this out. Okay, so this time you're going to take your marshmallow here and we're going to put this marshmallow inside the car because guess what? This car has little tiny seat belts, okay? And you're going to take your piece of string. I'm going to put the marshmallow sideways, which makes it a little easier. And we're going to, let's see, tie this on carefully. Now, here's the question that you can do. Are you going to make the string very tight? or just sort of tight. I'm gonna make mine a little bit more loose. And, okay, are you ready? Are your cars ready? Are you the marshmallow ready to feel what it's like to be a crash test dummy? Here we go. Oh, you have to predict first. What do you think's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to this marshmallow? Is it gonna move forward or backwards? Do you have your prediction? Here we go. And the marshmallow stayed intact. Yay. Now, if you look, it did move slightly forward. When I started, it was right in the middle on the top. It moved forward. But it didn't move backwards. That's why we wear the seat belt, so that basically it tries to keep your body straight, but your head can move forward and backwards. And what happened to this one? It did lean back a little bit. It went forward and backwards a little bit. So those are the forces that we work with. Now, if you wanna give it a try with the smaller cars, really fast, we'll just stick the marshmallow on top and we're going to predict. What do you think's gonna happen? Ready? Oh, that looks like it hurts, ouch. This one went forward. So you can try all of these different things. And as a scientist, I would love it if you would do different experiments, move the cars around, use your, your rubber bands. You could tie your strings in different ways. These are all really fun things that you can do as a scientist or an engineer to design new ways to wear seatbelts. And if you come up with a new way to design a seatbelt or to make people safer in cars, then make sure that you leave a comment at the bottom of this video because I would love to hear all about it. So I hope you had fun today learning how to be a crash test dummy. Have a great day, science rocks!